guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another brand new video here on my youtube channel if you guys are new around here and you do enjoy this q a make sure to go ahead and leave a like leave a comment and hit that subscribe button the next goal is 4,000 subscribers and we are slowly creeping up on 3050 already which is kind of crazy yeah guys today's video is the 3000 subscriber q a that i promised you guys but to begin with again i just want to say thank you for 3,000 subs. It's absolutely crazy. Every time I open my YouTube dashboard, I see 3,000. It's crazy, man. I can't believe it. Uh, but getting straight into the Q&A, I did ask you guys to leave me questions in the comment section of my previous video. Some of you guys did, and over on Instagram as well. Some of you guys did give me some questions. Um, the latest... Mm, I didn't take screenshots of some of the questions because I'm an idiot, but I do have a lot of them. So if you know, if you did ask one and you don't see yourself in this video, then I do apologize for that. It's my fault for being stupid. It's hopping into the first question on YouTube. We have Granite Farmer 167 saying, I'm sorry if I annoy you with this question. Will you be streaming anytime soon? So this is a two question uh, answer, I guess. He has two questions. Um, will I be streaming anytime soon? So. I know a lot of you guys like me streaming and there's always a bunch of comments either on my YouTube videos or my Instagram pictures of people asking me if I'm going to stream again. The answer is yes and no because currently in my life I am trying to branch out from YouTube. I am going to keep doing YouTube just not as consistently as I used to. You know every day there was a new video. Uh, but I am focusing on another side project of mine that I have to put a lot of time and effort into. So if I have free time and if my other side project does end up working, uh, then yes, I will stream a lot more on YouTube because I enjoy streaming. Uh, it's very fun. Um, but for the time being, I don't think I will stream uh, a lot. So I don't want to say no, but I just know that I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I won't be streaming a lot. Uh, and then his second question says, what happened to Minecraft? If you guys don't know what he's talking about, I made like two videos and I streamed Minecraft here on the channel and there was like nothing to do. Um, I kind of just got bored of it. People were, I think they were enjoying it by the views and the comments. Some people did enjoy it and the live stream. Um, but personally, I just didn't enjoy it. it. There was no real incentive. There was no real like goal for me. Um, I've never, <laughs> I've never wanted to be a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, nothing against Minecraft YouTubers. I think Minecraft is fun. Um, but I just, not for me or for this channel right now. So that's the answer to that. We on into the second question on YouTube from a drab HD. He went pretty simple. He said, are you a virgin? Um, no, but I know that no one's going to believe that because I, you know, I'm an idiot. So if you guys don't believe it, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> What a question, man. I, I, um, I got asked that like so many times, but no, the answer is no, I am not. Even though everyone is going to say I am. All right, now the third question from Historical Muhammad. He says, we did a boys lean hit 3K. Oh, no, that's not the question, but I'll just finish reading that. Uh, lean hit 3K before 2020. Congrats, buddy. Thank you, man. I always see you in the comments and in some of the previous live streams. I appreciate you. And his question says, do you take YouTube as a job? And if so, do you love it? So again, like a two part question here. Uh, do I take YouTube as a job? Yes and no. Uh, I do get paid from YouTube. I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube though, so I can't consider it my main job. Um, but for a long time I was, you know, it was my job. Currently I am branching out into something else that I am going to work towards making that my job. I would love it, you know, if YouTube also became a very reliable source of income because I do love YouTube. I, I like making videos on video games. I like seeing the comments. I like seeing the reaction that people give to my content. It's, it's awesome. Um, and hitting milestones like 3000 and 2000 and things like that. It, it's, it shows that your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Um, and yeah, I, I just really enjoy YouTube, but currently, no, I do not take YouTube as a job. Um, more of as a side hobby only because i'm not doing it as much as i used to but yeah that hopefully that answers that question all right moving on into anthony garcia's question he says what do you do for a living i guess that i kind of already answered in the previous question but basically even though youtube isn't my full-time job 
basically YouTube and other side hustles that I do, you know, here and there to make money. Rat says, are you going to branch out to other kinds of content new games? First of all, shout out to Phil Long Rat. He's been here for a while now. I've seen him in some of the streams as well. So I appreciate the support, my man. Um, and his question again says, are you going to branch out to other kinds of content slash new games? Yes, I really, really, really want to do that because one of the main things that I see some people do and one of the reasons why people fail on YouTube is because they strictly stick to one game. And that's kind of what I've been doing. You know, I've been strictly sticking to Battlefield 5 because that's what my basically channel is based on. You know, that's the video, like a Battlefield 5 video. Sorry about that, by the way. Uh, that a video from Battlefield 5 was kind of blew my channel up. So at first I felt kind of bad from moving on into different games but now I'm very open to it and I really really do want to play new games uh, for example the new COD the new Cyberpunk the new what else the Last of Us a whole bunch of new different games that are coming out I'm looking forward to and I will be posting them on this channel so if you are excited for that make sure make sure to go ahead and stick around because I'm gonna have a lot of fun and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy those videos as well all right, those were all the YouTube questions that I had. So now let's go ahead and move on into our first Instagram question from Jack Lids. Are you gay? <laughs> no, I'm not. But no, I'm not. <laughs> Granite Farmer as well, again on Instagram, asked me a couple questions. He said, have you ever been on a date? I imagine by date he means with uh, another person that I'm seeing. Yes, I have. I've been on maybe one or two not like oh we went out to eat or something but you know just like hanging out i guess you can consider that a date if you want to uh and then he says are you more hyped for cyberpunk 2077 or call of duty modern warfare 2019 i think i am still more hyped about cyberpunk 2077 because i've just been waiting for this game for so long and after seeing the newest gameplay and all the trailers and keanu reeves and everything that game just looks so awesome to me and i am super super excited and i cannot wait for it to release because i'm going to make so many videos on it and i just can't wait to enjoy it cd project red an amazing development team they made the witcher series the witcher 3 the wild hunt one of my favorite games of all time and i just can't wait to see them kill it on cyberpunk rafa figueroa asked on instagram why did you start your channel so i have no real answer to that honestly because when i started my channel in 2016 i started with fifa 17 i think um and there was no real reason because i i never had like the thought cross my mind of oh maybe one day i can earn money off of youtube and one day i could possibly do this for a living like that never crossed my mind you know whenever you start a new channel you're never you you that's the first thing that comes to your head it's like oh this for me is not possible so i kind of just started uploading for fun i guess you know everyone says that but that's kind of one of the reasons i started uploading i wish i never deleted those fifa 17 videos um because i had some voiceovers there and i was like much younger i was like what 17 i'm currently 19 so i sounded a little bit different but Damn, I wish I didn't delete those videos. I actually had a FIFA 17 video that got 22,000 views, which is kind of crazy. So my channel did kind of blow up a couple years ago, um, but never to the scale that it is now, you know, 3,000 subs. I think I only got like 60 subs out of 22,000 views, um, which was to me, which was pretty awesome. And then for like two years, I couldn't hit 100. Um, so I guess I straight away from that answer but hopefully that answered it so i kind of miscalculated how many questions i got off of instagram it's a lot so i'm gonna just make this all in one take uh terry underscore seven eight six seven six <laughs> he said what made you stop playing fifa two years ago and what made you start playing battlefield 5 again i really didn't consider fifa game like my fifa videos as a way to make money it was more of a hobby um so i kind of you know i was off and on for like a long time for a year i stopped then for a year i continued maybe like one video every two months um but then battlefield 5 came out and i was like you know you know maybe i should make videos on this game maybe people will enjoy it and i got really lucky and now i'm at this point where people actually enjoy these videos so i'm glad i took that decision 
um, now moving on into Edgar Torres, he says, do you remember me? Of course, one of the only Twitch moderators that I have, but I never even t stream on Twitch. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, there you go. I do remember you, bro. You've always been there for a long time, so I appreciate that. Then Wicked Lamb, if you don't know who this is, go follow him on Instagram. He makes really dope, um, how do I say, you know, art, I guess you could say. He made me my YouTube logo and my YouTube banner. Uh, and I will be going back to him for some more YouTube art because this guy does a really good job. He says, besides networking, what's a good way to grow on YouTube? Um, that's a very good question. For me, I don't want to sound stupid and say, oh, you have to get lucky because that's not the only way to grow on YouTube. Um, but that's kind of what happened to me. You know, I got lucky when my videos blew up. So apart from that, all I could say is just don't overdo it because that's something i was doing you know like every single day uploading a video i feel like people get tired of the same boring repetitive content so what i would say is quality over quantity that's something that i'm going to try to adapt to you know make better quality videos instead of a bunch of crappy videos um so i guess that's hopefully that does answer that question then ivan underscore ur23 says what's your favorite ps4 game of all time boy that's a tough one favorite ps4 game of all time i haven't played many many ps4 games i've played maybe like 50 60 ps4 games um but definitely in my top three has to be battlefield 4 god of war the newest one and what else what else god of war battlefield 4 is definitely up there with that and then probably maybe i'd say the last of us even though i didn't play the full game um i did obviously watch it on youtube but i played some of it i'd say the last of us has to be one of my favorite ps4 games of all time that or god of war now moving on into hayden keys he asked what was your favorite video to make my favorite video to make oh uh, man my favorite I, I can't think of one honestly i just have so many i think we're up to like 130 videos on the youtube channel now um but my favorite video to make honestly i i can't think of it man i'm sorry and then he says are there any big plans for the channel yes but not but not close to to this point in time hopefully that makes sense so I, again my big plans for this channel are to diversify the gameplay diversify the videos make better content uh bring different video games to the channel and things like that so i guess you could consider that a big plan for the for the channel um hopefully that does answer your question and then ma docs 35 says what are some of your most wanted world war ii maps in battlefield 5 uh, I'm not gonna give any specific names just because I can't think of any off the top of my head but the maps I would like to see are you know the destroyed Germany maps like the Americans versus the Germans and stuff like that when they were fighting in Berlin and things like that you know maps like that like very urban maps um, would be pretty awesome to see so I guess that hopefully that does answer your question as something falls behind me that's random um, Next question from Beaven Murph. He says, will you do Call of Duty videos or stick with Battlefield? I will do both. I will do Call of Duty videos here and there, and I will continue to do Battlefield 5 and, you know, future Battlefield uh, video game videos. So hopefully that does answer that. Then Aiden Keys again says, what was your... F oh, no, I already answered that. My bad. A little quick break right there. Talking for four minutes straight is not good for your throat. Um, so we have four questions left. This video is already 13 minutes long. Um, so one of the final questions is from, I'm sorry if I mispronounce this name. A lot of you guys are from like Europe and you have crazy names. So I'm sorry. Uh, Vielko, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that dude. Wow. Rude. Massive garbage truck outside. He says, how much do you earn from YouTube or how much does your YouTube earn? Just asking, um, to give you a, a, a basic answer a good month so the the month that my channel blew up and i got over like 200,000 views in that month uh around 200 300 but it all depends because some some months i make 30 dollars other months i make 120 dollars other months i make 80 dollars so it really all just depends on how long people watch a video or how many views the video gets uh, i'm still kind of new to all of that so i don't really know how that works 
but it doesn't earn me a lot it just earns me enough to maintain the youtube channel you could say you know so with the money i get from youtube i bought a new mic i bought new video games a new controller uh this and that you know some of the equipment i have so it earns me enough for what i currently do then we have some questions from uh zero shots josh i know you're on the discord so shout out to you man he says gold plated season two coming anytime soon I'm not too sure man i feel like i don't have enough time uh anymore to to you know grind out like three four golden weapons in one day like i used to do because i used to grind out the golden skin weapons on battlefield 5 like two three at a time in one day it's very time consuming uh maybe if they start adding a lot more weapons with this new chapter chapter five i might bring it back but for right now i don't think so my man um, then he asked what is the cost of your setup so in total with my ps4 my two monitors and my pc thirteen hundred dollars um it's not okay so thirteen hundred dollars is kind of a lot of money um but for what you get with that amount it's a decent setup i'd say so not that bad then he says how many girlfriends have you had i haven't had many girlfriends uh middle school i had like one high school I wouldn't say I had many girlfriends. I didn't have many girlfriends in high school, maybe like one at most, but that wasn't even like a real relationship. And then recently I was actually in one, but that ended. So I guess in total, you could say two to three, you know, um, hopefully that does answer that. So those are all the questions that I got asked on Instagram combined with YouTube. Hopefully I did answer your question questions uh i know that some people did ask me more questions on instagram but i just forgot to take the screenshot so i do apologize for that but again thank you so much for all these very interesting questions i did enjoy making this video even though it's like almost 20 minutes long now so i do apologize for that uh but yeah i feel like i'm going to be doing more q a's in the future once we hit more milestones so again guys thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers i know this video is literally all over the place um i apologize for that as well but yeah thank you guys so much hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and leave a like leave a comment and hit that subscribe button from me to you thank you i'll catch you in the next video here on my channel peace out